But it is what it is what it is, you do. You know who it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Let's kick it. <laughs> Changes children and will let us rap. They learn by example, but follow in his path. We inherit, believe, neglect, and abuse. Opportunities live. All right, man, let me show you this. Okay, we're going to get into this real quick. Um, it's going to be a brief. Um, I'm going to show you that this is, needs to be done. Um, we're going to get into the DMX protocols, um, on the lights next week, we're going to get into programming the lights, getting, well, I'm going to show that to you tomorrow night with the lights that I actually use at the event plugged in. So we're going to go from there. And then the other lights, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we're going to be in the new side, but if we're going to be in the old side, I'll put the lights on the table like I normally do and just go from there. But if we're in the actual event, I have an idea what we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to show you. What we're going to do is we are going to daisy chain the lights, but we are going to use one wireless, uh, one wireless thing to do this. So, um, we're going to try that and see what happens. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see if it'll actually work. So uh, come with me tomorrow night at the gig. Uh, well, right now, um, let's get into the laptop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got the outside and inside. I'm going to show you. I got the outside. Here's the outside, inside. Okay, as you can see, there's four. Um, the ZQ B246 36 watt par can, and then I have the 30 watt LED moving head spotlight. Then I have the 10 channel RGBWA WA plus UV par, and then I have then I have this other one. I have the ZQ 259B RGBW 12 light cam par. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's go inside. Inside's mirrored outside. Here's outside. This is outside. It's the same thing. The lights are in a different position, but that doesn't really matter how you put them in here. Now, let's go here. I'm going to show you this. Um, I didn't do the DMX protocol like that really badly last time. So let's go into show DMX. We're going to go into this. Okay, this is the DMX mapping. Okay, as you can see, everything is set up perfectly. Um, you have between 1 and channel 11, you have the 30 watt moving head. You have the 10 channel, the RGBWA WA plus UV PAR. Then you have the ZQ uh, 36 watt PAR can, which is the battery. And then we have the ZQ259 RGBW12 LED. And that is the one. This one is on the T-bar adjacent from the moving head. So we don't have to do nothing here. This is done. And then let's go to the inside. I want to show you inside. Inside mirror is different here with these lights right here down here but it mirrors it mirrors in protocol let me show you view and then go to view and then show dmx and then dmx see it mirrors the dmx it's perfectly right where it needs to be the moving heads right where it needs to be the the, the uv pars needs to be where it would be and we're going to go ahead and set up the last one so you kind of get an idea um i got three Inside, outside, and I got this new venue that we created. Now, as you can see, there's only two lights here. Okay, so I had to delete the other light because it was wrong. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this real quick, right? Pow. And then we're going to go and, and we're going to go here. And then we're going to go down. I know what the light is. So we're going to go here. Uh, it's called uh, a JBL. A J, J, JML or whatever. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a JML. Sorry. JML. JML is one of those uh, Chinese version lights that you get from China. But as you can see, there are so many lights in here that that's pretty crazy. Now, they didn't come up with, I think it's, uh, this This is it right here. The 10 channel RGBW UV PAR channel 10. This is it. Done. Then I click on it, right? Now, we're right where we need to be. Okay, so we're going to click on it. Click done. Okay, now it's going to show, I forgot, I keep doing that. You have to add the fixture. Add the fixture, and then click done. Now, notice the light, these weren't these colors right here. They always turn up different when you put them in here in different venues. Look, let me show you what I'm talking about. The outside venue, the inside venue, the new venue. It gives you different colors, so they don't stay the same. It's, pre it's pretty cool. I like, kind of like it that way. I don't, I don't particularly want it any other way. Okay, so now let's go back to the inside here. And I think we have, oh yes. We had to go back to the new menu. We're here already. Okay. Then we're going to click pause. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight. And then we're going to go down here. So you can and take a minute um you can type it in but it's a lot easier to look for it in here um if you have like a certain light that you're looking for stroll through the fixtures there's a lot of them but stroll through the fixtures now some lights are going to have more than one like this address if you look at it this is you king one and this is you king two we need to go here to this one, to the first one. And then we need to go over here to this. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the outside. The outside is going to tell us everything. Okay, so we are looking for a 12 LED uh, B259. So what you do, do is just go ahead and click on it. And let's look for the B259 RGBDW. It's, I think, the C. It, It takes a minute to look for it, but you got all these lights that they come up with. They, and and guess what? If you got a new light and you want them to add it and it's not added, you can actually text. Um, you I mean, you can email support of SoundSwitch and they will actually put it in there if they can. 259. Looking for 259. I think it's down further here. It's past the LED moving head. And all that you can add all this stuff, man. It's 259. It's 259. I remember I got to do a white. That there it is right there, and I got to make sure I think it's the okay. So now look, what we need to do is we need to make sure we add the right one. So let's go into view and let's go into DMX. Now, what DMX is telling me is these are right here. They are 12 LED par. And it telling me it's a seven channel. So I need to find the one with the, the seven channel. Let's get out of here. Let's get done. Okay, and let's go back to new venue. Now we know that it's 11 channel, and it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's mid, uh, is that, this, uh, okay. You can go over a little bit here. It's the first one, channel seven, and then click done. All right, <laughs> I keep doing it. <laughs> I got the light, now I need to add the fixture. And then it's highlighted and then it's added. I hope I didn't add a bunch of them. 
Ooh, it does. No, it added one. Okay, now let's go into view. Let's check it out. Because if it viewed, if it added more, it'll tell me. Now, as you can see, it threw it where it wanted to throw it. But we don't want it here. We have to actually put it on 55. Okay. This got added here. This goes to channel 19. And this one is added and it goes to 36, I believe. Okay, so let's uh, click done. All right, let's go here to the inside because it just has to mirror that. Let's view and then show DMX. Okay, so this one starts the 36 par can. It starts at 37. And this one starts at 55. That one starts at 19 and that one starts at 1. Okay, so let's click done. Let's go to the new venue. And let's go to view. And let's go to shoot DMX. Now, here's channel 19. Here's channel. Oh, this one needs to be put here. This one needs to be put on number one. And this one needs to be put on 37. So there it is. 37, 19. Okay, so 19 through 28. And then you have this one and this one and this one. Okay, let's go ahead and click uh, done. Now let's go ahead and go to the inside and check out the inside, the view and the inside. Uh, this is the DMX. And here it is. The DMX is set correctly. Um, basically, you can tell that it's set correctly because it's going to tell you the address that it's on. Now, if you look here, it doesn't say it. It says 1928. This one doesn't say it. It says little buttons down there. This one say nothing. If you go over here to this side, this actually has seven channel mode, and it says channel 37 to 43. This one's 11 channel mode is channel 1 through 11. This one has 10 channel mode is 19 through 28. And this one has 7 channel mode and is DMX address 55 to 61. Now DMX goes by how many channels and what the channels do and what the lights do in the channels. Because the lights can do um, only a certain amount of things like blues, greens, and different colors and then everything else. Because one, one channel will be for the light color, one channel will be for the... The gobos, you know how it goes. And then I'm going to get into that next week. We're going to go into get into programming the lights to do gobos and programming the lights to do everything else. Uh, as you see, outside, inside, and new venue, I all match. That's how you want to do it. You want to make sure every channel matches, um, every venue matches. Now, I wanted to do this. How many venues could we add if we just click the button? And I was just interested because I didn't know. Okay, so we can, oh, there we go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can have seven venues open. You don't need all seven venues open. Trust me. And then you can come up here and you can delete the venue. Let's go ahead and do these venues deleted. Because we don't need that many. Um, technically, I only need two. Um, now, I did this other venue because I wanted to show you all how to do DMX protocol. And on last week, I really didn't do a good job. I kind of screwed up on everything. But you, know, you, learn, you learn from your mistakes. We're going to go ahead and call the video. But I wanted you to know that that um, when you're DMXing in, in this, um, I also, I okay, so let's get into part two of this video. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. So now you got to go to file up here. Okay, we're going to get into the local files next week. So we're going to do music next week. Next week we're going to do music. We have to add the music first. Okay, and, and then we're going to get into the effects we're going to work our way down. So we worked our way across. Now we're going to work our way down. And we're going to go to music first. It's at the top. 
Then we're going to go to um, how to add effects. And we're going to um, uh, we're going to show you positions because positions are very important and then uh, actuating cues last. Uh, I want to get all this stuff done, but I want to make sure we go down instead of missing something. Instead of skipping down to positions, which I could do. But that's not that's not important right now. Important is getting through each and every one of these things so you know each and every one of these things that do. Now I'll go ahead and press file. Let's go ahead and press save. Now that it's saved, let's go ahead and switch mode. Switch mode will take us back here to the performance mode. Now notice. Notice this little sprocket. Need a little sprocket. Sprocket rocket. Now, this is why you have to have, this is why I wanted to make sure that we do this now. Okay, so now you have general, you have library, your preference of library. As you can see, general uh, Serato DJ is lit up. Let's go to library. Okay, library tells me the sound switch uh, restart required. Uh, change the path of the library. Okay, and then the path of the comments and the music iTunes, and you can change the iTunes. Uh, show iTunes in library if you want to. Show engine primary library. Show Serato crates in library. Uh, make sure that you have Serato crates clicked. Um, virtual DJ would have uh, virtual DJ crates in there, but make sure you have Serato clicked. Now, this is the performance mode of your controller. This is how you can control your lights. You can do reverse crossfade. You can toggle blackout hotkeys. Um, you can up fader in intensity only. You can loop auto strobes. You can play head smoothing or you can external mixer. So you can use all kinds of different things to control your lights. You definitely don't have to just use Serato. Now, let me tell you this. You have to have Serato plugged in in order to get this stuff to work. Hardware. And then there is no devices found because that's they're, they're uh, looking for many devices. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, minimize this because we're done with this. Oh, look what we got going. Serato. So we're going to go into the spool right here. Okay, now the spool right here, this can be kind of deceiving because if you're not familiar with your uh, DJ Serato or DJ preferences, you need to go in here and you need to read all your preferences. You need to know what each one of these buttons do. And if you have any questions about any of these buttons, you can get Serato support or you can text me. Uh, you can leave a, a question in the question below and we can actually make a video on one of these buttons if you have any ideas there or here or audio. I, I don't have time to get into this stuff. So if you really want to like get into any of this, hit me up below and we can actually do a tutorial on Serato Pro and the different functions. Uh, this up faders, cross faders, as you can see the cross fader, I have it set up. So in the middle of the cross fader is where um, it goes through. And then we have fax. And then this is FX. I got these all FX, man. Check it out. Got all these FXers, I don't know how to use them yet. I'm, I'm still learning this program. And then you have this. Okay, so this is where you're going to get your information from. And as you can see, there's different. There's a sampler, there's Serato playlist, there is the Serato remotes, there is the pitch and time DJ, there's the flip, and there's the Serato play. Serato play is basically uh, just what it says. I think it's uh, it's. I think that's the. Um, okay, so here it is, right here. This is the Serato remotes. In your Serato remotes, you need to make sure sound switch and your laptop are connected to Serato. Okay, in order for this to work, I'm, I'm telling you, in order for this to work, if you do not have your DJ controller plugged in, I'll prove it to you.
My DJ controller is gone. Now look where it is. Let's go to Serata Remote and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It shows it there, but my DJ remote just got uh, remoted. But as you can see here, it, it did affect it. It, it. it turned it off. Now let's turn it back on by plugging back in the controller. And it'll take a minute for it to see it. But that's what I wanted to show you that because um, a lot of people, and down here you can tell it, it says uh, hardware connecting. There it is. See how the hardware connected and you flip back? And then you go back and, and that. That is very important to make sure that your hardware is connected when you actually get these two uh, softwares talking to each other okay so that's done then we click the sprocket to get out okay now i wanted to mention this okay now this was like okay so anyways that's what we're going to go ahead and do today so i hope this really helped you out with the with um with uh, dmx protocol if you need to know more about DMX protocol, I can walk you through it. Now, I do want to say this one thing. And uh, hopefully this helps. When you are doing DMX, when you're doing wired DMX, let's go with wired first. When you go with wired DMX, you have to make sure you purchase a terminator. I'll be back. You need a terminator. And the reason is, is because the signal, the signal, okay, this is how it works. You send a signal down the wire. And as you can see, there's three, you get three wires. You have three, you have a three prong on your DMX. Okay. The DMX, this is how it works. One and two and three. I believe two or, or one. Uh, I think uh, two send and one receive and one sends the signal back. So basically what's happening is you plug your wire in and it's talking. But what happens is your light has to send back that talk. And it's like talking on the phone. When you talk on the phone, you could talk all day to yourself if you want. But... Normally how it works is somebody gets on the phone and they talk back to you. Well, that's what DMX does. DMX sends a signal. The light receives the signal and then it sends the signal back. Okay, so what happens is, is when you're sending the signal to a light and you have a train of lights that it's sending a signal, by the time it gets to the end, the signal does not know what to do. The signal does not know if he should stop or keep going. He's confused. He's like running in a circle because it's like a dog chasing his tail. He doesn't know what to do because he doesn't have any more instructions. All he knows is that he is supposed to do something and he doesn't know because he's not plugged into another light. So he doesn't know if he should send the signal somewhere else or if he should keep, keep the signal. And that's what happens. And that last light usually or uh, the last light usually or the middle light or one of the lights will start acting up or all the lights will act up. So you need to have a terminator because what's going to happen there is, okay, so um, you, you set your lights up and how how it works is the receiver is on one side and then the the sender is all the way on the end okay so your best bet is this and i'm going to share this with you if you have movers if you have movers get your mover plug them in wirelessly from the movers on the left side and from the movers on the right side Wire them to the other lights. At the end of those other two lights, put a terminator on the other end. Because once you once you um, once you put wireless and then you wire from the wireless, you have to have a terminator on that end. 
because it's going to do the same thing. Wireless is okay. You don't have to have a terminator because it's know what it's doing. It's talking back and forth real quickly. So you don't need to. But once you introduce the wire, you're going back to old school. So you got a new school, kind of old school. Like a, uh, okay, so <laughs> this is the best way to go. Um, this is the best way to use it. You have your cell phone. And it's daisy chained to <laughs> a rotary phone <laughs> or a payphone, <laughs> a payphone. So you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta do it that way. That's the best way to do it. So I didn't want to make this video too long, but I wanted to share with you uh, the proper, the um, proper proca. Now the very, very first video, I showed you where all to get this stuff. So and it's cheap. Uh, you don't have to go out and get the expensive brand wireless dongles and go to uh, uh, virtual DJ and, and, and or not virtual DJ, uh, um, American DJ, and you don't have to go to Chave because if you go to Chave, you're going to spend 300 bucks for that wireless uh, wireless dongle. I got it for 40 bucks. It does the same thing, just cheaper. So anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and leave it there. Um, if you if you want to hit me up um, about any kind of information, uh, go ahead uh, and knowledge of what what direction um, uh, you want to go. Uh, if you know anything about music that you want to go, hit me up. Leave a link. Uh, leave a comment below, and we'll get into it. And with that, all going to be said. Say follow what that guy has to say, and peace out. I like it. Leave a comment below. Karen is sharing. Subscribe to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook.